Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Lost Letter video. Today is a bit of a special video because at the time of recording this and at the time of this video going live, I should now be at over a million total video views, which is kind of insane, If like, thinking about it. Like, realistically, this time last year, I think I only had maybe, like, I think I was around 500k, um because that's when I started kind of monetizing my videos was around 500k views in total but now we are at a million total channel views that is mind-blowing I'm not even like a huge like youtuber I only have like you know I only have like 35 3600 subs which is not a whole lot of subscribers when you are able to break over a million views like that so that's kind of insane to me and I do want to thank each and every one of you guys who always watches my videos, who always likes my videos, who always shares my videos. Because without you guys, this would not have been possible. And I would not have been able to reach a million views in total. And that's just a huge number. And that is, to me, just really mind-blowing to be at a million views now. That's insane. Like, it's so awesome. And I gotta thank you guys for that a lot from the bottom of my heart. So now let's get into today's deck, which is kind of a special deck. Because it's going to be based around Hydreigon in a way. Now... As you know, my picture on YouTube for like, I don't really know what you would call it, is Hydreigon. And that's my favorite Pokemon. I've always been a fan of Hydreigon since it came out. It's like, it's such a cool guy, you know, it's got like, you know, hands as heads. It's, it's really cool. Um, or he heads as hands. And it's a really cool Pokemon. It's always my favorite Pokemon. And that's why I've been able to like, you know, that's why it's my picture. Because I like the Pokemon so much. I like Dragon types in general, but I really do like Hydreigon, and there's not really that many good Hydreigons in Standard, because there's only one of them, and that is the Weed Out Hydreigon. And the best way to play it, well, thankfully Lost Thunder's out, so we have a new combo in the form of Giratina with Distortion Door. Once you're in turn, if this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put it onto your bench. If you do, put one damage counter on two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Giratina right now, obviously, it's being played with Malamar, that's kind of the big hype deck. However... Giratina's ability can actually combo pretty well with Hydreigon's Weed Out ability. So Weed Out allows you to, once you're in turn before you attack, you may choose three of your bench Pokemon, then discard your other bench Pokemon. So the idea here is you want to get a Hydreigon into play, and you want to have at least two Giratinas on your bench, and then you want to Weed Out and make sure that you discard your two Giratinas, and then every single turn, you're going to be putting 40 damage on your opponent's side of the board you can put four damage counters on your opponent's side of the board every single turn with this combo and this is a spread deck this is a straight up just tapu coco tapu lele spread deck that's all it is this is a spread deck but with a twist because we do play the hydreigon giratina combo to put things in the discard pile and then we can just use extra damage with distortion door it adds extra damage on the board, you know, putting 40 damage on the board every turn is pretty good when you already have Flying Flip. Spread's already been doing well, it did win an SPE, you know, the Saviper Coco deck did pretty good, it won the tournament, so it's a really interesting archetype. Spread's still good, and let's, let's try this combo out with Hydreigon. So yeah, that's basically, the, that's the deck, it's a spread deck with the addition, the addition of Weed Out Distortion Door. Uh, really, everything else in the deck is kind of just simple. You know, one Rangoon for draw. You know, one Latios, pretty good for breakthrough. I do want to play two of these, but we can actually attack with Giratina, and we'll get into that in a minute. And we are playing, of course, two Tapu Leles with Psy Wave and Magical Swap. Really good Magical Swap is kind of the idea here. Once we get a left damage on the board with Coco and Giratina spam, we can Magical Swap and win the game. And uh, that's basically it for the Pokemon. There's not really any like tech cards I can think of to put in here. So now we go into the items. We are playing one energy lotto. We do want to be digging for counter energies and DCEs. One copy of Field Blower, just to get rid of any tools or anything. One mysterious treasure to be able to get our Giratinas out. Uh, two Nest Balls to be able to put our Pokemon on our bench. Three Rare Candy just going to Hydreigon. That's one of the drawbacks of playing the Hydreigon line, is you do have to play Rare Candy. But we are going to play three, and we are playing one Zwilus too, just in case. In you know. Relying on hitting Hydreigon and Candy in the same hand is kind of, you know, not reliable enough, so getting his wireless is safer. Two copies of Stretcher just to keep getting our Pokemon back, like Coco. Four Ultra Balls to search for our Pokemon. Also, a great thing to put Giratina in the discard. You want to have Giratina in the discard pile to begin with before you even get Hydreigon down, because you want to at least just get that extra turn of Distortion Door. We are playing two Shrines. Shrine is so popular right now, like, you can get away with just playing two, I find. It's really not that bad. I think two shines is perfectly fine, and plus with Giratina spam, 
it's almost like we don't really need try anymore if that makes any sense for cynthia's for draw for lily's for draw just playing a lot of draw supporters lily cynthia sightseer great card just dump excess stuff like any rare candies we don't need uh one taint liza just some more draw cards two guzmas of course don't really need to go guzma heavily in this matchup um now here's where the things get interesting you can actually attack with this deck and take prizes by attacking and not just spamming like flying flip and here's how we do it counter gain counter energy combo so counter gain is going to be three of in the deck now the reason we're not playing like a poison Viper combo we don't have room for survivors on the bench we don't have room for them we just straight up do not have room for survivor because of giratina we need room for giratina so we want to have survivor room so we're going to play a counter gain engine instead so what the idea is sometimes is you can use counter gain with say giratina and then counter gain just means you need two psychic energies to attack until you get even in prizes then you put a counter energy on your Giratina, and then you can do Shadow Impact for counter energy and a counter gain. So that's the idea behind the counter gain engine. You can also use Flying Flip for a single energy, for like a single unit, a single counter energy if you're not falling behind prizes. Counter gain you can use with Hydreigon also to do Dark Destruction. So there's a lot of possible combos with counter gain, and that's why we're going to be running three copies of it. And again, this will allow us to even attack with Giratina and Hydreigon. And yeah, just four counter energies, four DCs, three units. Unit energy can both work with Lele and with Hydreigon. I mean, if we play against Rayquaza, we should win the game. Just psi waving a couple times on Rayquaza is all we need to do. So uh, yeah, that's why we are playing three unit energies also. And yeah, that is basically my Hydreigon Giratina list, a special deck that I built for you guys. Pretty unique archetype that I built for you guys here for my 1 million subscriber special video. So we're going to go find some games with the deck on PCGO. And let's see what this deck can do. Alright guys, let's go find some games with our Hydreigon Giratina deck and see what we are able to do here. First game is up against... I see a bunch of types. I see a bunch of types. Alright, so we'll go for the coin flip. We do not win it. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, let's see. What do we start with? We're gonna mulligan. I don't know what we're up against. There's a lot of types. Grass. I saw fire, I think. I don't think it's road armor or anything, but road armor is like... I think an auto win, but we'll see what he's actually playing. Hopefully we get a good start here too. That would be nice. That would be great. So let's see. What do we start with? Hopefully we don't start with Dino. Okay, good. I was like, hopefully we don't start with Dino. We actually do have the turn to Hydreigon though, which is really good. Pretty good opening hand, I'd say. We'll see what we're up against here. Ooh, ho -ho. Oh, that, that's the new Entei, right? So, this new Entei, kind of interesting. Eruption can uh, do okay things. I think this is more or less just a Macargo deck, because Ditto Prism Star kind of gives that away. Yes, fill your bench up. Definitely not playing a spread deck, Kappa. Actually, ho is weak to Lightning, too, so that's actually pretty good. No turn one Kiawe either is also really good, assuming he doesn't get any Macargos down or Slugmas down. And we might not even get knocked out by uh, Ho-Oh. And hopefully we hit DC, we can get some damage on the board. I mean, Entei's Eruption. Each player discard the top card of their deck. This attack does 80 plus 6 more damage for each energy discarding that way. So it's not really that good of an attack. It's pretty, pretty risky. Drew an Ultra Ball. That's pretty good. I don't know if I even want to play it. I think I'll just do Lily and play it safe. No DCEs. Maybe I shouldn't have played it safe, guys. Well, Ultra Ball away Dino and a Counter Energy... We'll just grab... Hmm. We'll just grab Coco. We can't do Giratina quite yet because my opponent... Or because we don't really have our bench filled up yet. We'll just play the counter on the bench, Coco, and pass. We'll just do that, pass, and then see what happens next. Not getting damage there does suck. We would have been able to get 40 on the active, 20 in each Pokemon. Maybe soften up that Ditto, get killed. But I'm feeling pretty safe this turn. He did actually get rid of a Field Blower. That's huge. Now he can't bump my Shrine, most likely, until he finds Heat Factory. So that's good. So that's good. He's gonna grab oh promo okay never mind so this is not a macargo deck i was really thinking this was gonna be like a macargo deck especially because ente is in here but no my opponent's just gonna get a promo lorantis down opponent will do an acrobike 
Get rid of fire energy, okay. Did they find a Kiawe? Yep, okay. So they did find Kiawe. Now, the nice thing, I guess, about this is he can't do Phoenix Burn every single turn, so he'll have to have a turn where he resorts to do Sacred Fire, which is actually nice. So that's fine. And, alright, we got Counter Gain. Doesn't matter where I play this. I think I'm just going to play it on the Dino. And we are going to be able to get the Turn 2 Hydreigon into play, which is really good. And now we can do a nice big Lily. Hopefully we get a nice good hand here. Nope. I think I have to still... I can't... No. I was going to say we have to do Fly and Flip, but I kind of can't. We'll have to just get rid of probably Guzma and Counter Gain. We'll have to grab a Rank Guru then for next turn. I guess we could play down Lele. Yeah, I guess we could do this. Draw one card. You never know. It could be a DC. Okay, Cynthia's pretty good. Um, I don't even know if I want to lose Tapu Koko. I think I'm just going to let him knock me out, though. I think it's the better play. We have the one on the bench. I can honestly, next turn, like, bring out Lorantis and maybe stall it out. and hope he doesn't, like, switch it back out somehow. And then we can get a couple turns of maybe doing Flying Flip. No DCs are a little bad. That's why I energy Lottos in this deck. But, you know, I can't complain about a turn to Hydreigon. That's a pretty good setup. Not to mention, like, even Tapu Lele with a Shrine of Punishments is going to be hitting him for 90. So, like, this Psy Wave is actually doing a lot of damage. Ooh, he's going to knock out the Coco with the energy on. That's fine. Kind of wastes his Guzma because he probably wants to save that for when he gets Phoenix Burn. Okay, so bring out Coco. Hopefully we get some Giratina shenanigans going. There's a treasure. I don't want to lose that Guzma, though. But... <sighs> Let's just... I... Sorry, Guzma. I'm sorry, buddy. You're... You're considered irrelevant at this point. I mean, theoretically, I could have dumped the Cynthia and then done Instruct for two. But, okay, maybe I should have. But, you know what? We have a good setup here. We got double gear, double, 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 double Giratina. So, we'll do Weed Out. We want to save Hydreigon, Oranguru, and Lele. We got the combo online, which is good, so that's nice. Well, Cynthia. There's a Shrine. You can put that down. And uh, we'll just do Distortion Door. Now we do Distortion Door. So now we're going to be spreading a lot of damage. The only thing I'm missing here is another... Uh, Tapu Coco. That's fine. And we'll just fly and flip him. We're gonna hit him for 50 thanks to Shrine. And look at that! Thanks to Giratina, we're getting a lot more damage on the board. I mean, just like that. Look at the damage. 90, 120, 150 damage. Pretty good. And I mean, even if he knocks me out, I can still find one of my other two counter energies, right? Yeah, two. No, three. Oh, he's knocking out Lele. Be my guess. Be my guess. I actually kind of don't care about that. It's not like Lele's really threatening right now anyways. So we're just going to keep flying and flipping him until the end of time. This way I am going to be able to make room for another guy. Which is pretty good. So we'll do Cynthia. We need to find another Pokemon though before we do Weedo. We got Stretcher. It's fine. We can just put Coco back. We have the other Lele and the other Stretcher. It's fine. We do want to have at least two Tapu Cocos in play, though, so, yeah. And here we go. We can weed out. So, Hydreigon, Oranguru, Coco want to stay. Dump the Giratina. Basically, at this point, guys, it's just rinse and repeat. Weed out. Distortion door. Uh, we'll hit Slugma. We'll just keep damaging this Entei, too, I think. If we had Choice Band, this Ho-Oh would have been gone a long time ago, but, yeah. Look at that. Boom. And we'll just fine flip. We'll save the Energy Lotto for next turn, and Boom. Look at that, all that damage on board. Not to mention, he's used his Phoenix Burn. He's played two Guzmas. He might not be able to attack me next turn. Well, he can. He can, I guess, do Sacred Fire. But even if he, like, snipes a bench guy with Sacred Fire for some reason, if that's really his play, we could just weed it out, unless it's Hydreigon. So, I mean, at this point, we're sitting pretty. This Entei is not going to go down next turn. Yeah, we're only going to be able to get 40 damage on it. But look at all the damage we spread. We can knock out the Slugma next turn if it doesn't evolve into Macargo. 
We can knock out ho -Oh. I mean, we have 190 damage on the board. There. Hunt, we have 240, 290, 290, and a Slugma. That's, we have like 330 damage on the board. So we are like just insanely powerful right now. We could just keep flying, flipping him. We're not knocking him out right now. It's just down to can we find our energy. We do. That's why the counter gain is so nice too, right? You can use a unit energy and one energy, which is really powerful. And yeah, we just kind of keep the combo. We do. Yeah, Hydreigon, Coco, Ranguru stays. Giratina's a go. And then we Distortion Door, put them right back on the bench. So we'll hit you. Might as well hit the other Hobo. We are going to knock out Slugma here. Which I still think is a fine enough play. Well, Cynthia, might as well. I mean, at this point, we do kind of not want Lele. Now we'll just fly and flip. And Ho survives, which is important. And we're just going to knock out Slugma, so he loses some of his consistency. And thankfully, he's got 20 HP, so he's not going to get knocked out going into my turn. And all we need to do now is find that Lele, and then we just need to find a counter gain. We still have a couple left. We have one left, actually. And we need to find unit energy or just the other counter energy. And Lele can just come in and win. But I mean, at this point, too, all the damage on board means we can probably just win alone with Tapu Koko. At this point, like, spread strategy can win us the game. I think we should just go for that. So, yeah, once again, Weedo, Hydreigon, Koko, Ranguru, stay in play. <laughs> this is so funny. This is really fun, though. This strategy is really cool when it gets set up. As you can see, my opponent is just not doing well. And again, I think we can afford to just win the game by just doing this every turn. We don't need Lele right now, I don't think. Look, we're kind of just smoking him, and we're in a good spot. So Ultra Ball, get rid of Hydreigon, and I guess Latios can go. I don't really think we can need Latios. We'll grab the other, we'll grab Lele, just say we have the other one in the deck. You never know, we could top deck something good. And we'll just fly and flip. But again, at this point, we can probably win with spread. Look at that, we just took a bunch of prizes. I think we could have manipulated it to take... Wait, could we have won last turn? Could we have won with Distortion Door? Oh... No, I think we might have had the game with Distortion Door. But who cares? Look at all the prizes we're taking. Like, there's the other counter energy. <sighs> this deck is hilarious. Oh no! Okay, now, okay, yeah. Look at that! We just took like freaking five, four prizes in one turn. What just happened? Holy cow. But yeah, we win the game. This Coco's got 20 HP. We win. That's how you beat. That's how you beat a deck, guys. You just spam Giratina every single. Like, look at that strategy. Like, look at how good it is. Fly and flip a full board. Double, double Giratina Hydreigon every turn with the Shine in play. There's like nothing my opponent could have done. And now we win the game. Which is one flying flip, and we just put down like the other. Even if he knocked me out here, we would just do another flying flip, and then we'd knock out the active next turn anyways, and he'd go down going to my turn. And there we go. That's what this. That's what the deck does. That like, that is evil. That. That is an evil, evil strategy. But you know, I'm gonna wrap today's PDCGO video here. The reason it's gonna be so short. It's a bit of a special video. Um, but I am just going to keep it a little more brief today, guys. Uh, but yeah, that was it. That That's basically the deck. Giratina, Coco, Hydreigon. Hydreigon, Giratina, Coco. It's a really fun deck. And it's a kind of a new way to play spread. I think this deck is fun. It I don't know how truly like good it will be in the long run. But this is definitely a really fun deck. But as you can see, we just showed off the power of the deck right there in that game alone. That game perfectly showed off what this deck can do. And what it is all about. And that, that strat... Again, the weed out. It's like, okay, you want to keep Hydreigon, and you just spam Distortion Door every single turn. Like, that extra 40 damage we're putting on the board every turn was so powerful. Like, we were able to take four of our prize cards in one turn just because of how good Giratina is. So, like, this strategy is really good when it sets up. Like, it, the spread is so insane when this deck sets up. And I do think this deck is fun. It has potential... In all, in all honesty, it might have potential. But yeah, we're going to keep today's video a little bit shorter, I know. But again, I do got to thank you guys a lot for a million total views. It's insane. Again, it, to me, it's just mind-blowing that we've actually managed to hit that. 
Um, and again, we're just gonna keep uploading videos until we hit 2 million views, until 3 million views. And again, I gotta thank guys so much for all support over the years. Again, if you've ever watched my videos and everything, thank you for watching. I know today's video is a bit shorter, but it is a bit of a special deck, and this deck is really fun to play. Give it a try if you haven't already. Thanks for watching the video. And uh, yeah, once again, leave a like if you enjoyed, and also subscribe to help me on the road to 4,000 subscribers if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Again, make sure to subscribe. Help me on the road to 4K subs. I'll catch you guys in another PDCGO video. Peace out. Have a good day. And who knows, I'll probably revisit this deck down the road at some point. I might do some stream games with the deck. So, there is potential for this deck to return in the future, guys. I do not worry. But thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on another PCGO video. Peace out. Have a good day. Bye-bye.